Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, Vinny from Studs of the Squared Circle. I am sitting here. It's 8 p.m., quarter after 8 at, at night. I didn't do a, a morning video this morning because I had to do the editing for Suds News, get that posted, which I did. Um, but, however, uh, I decided to work on a lot of stuff today in terms of getting to the point where I want, you know, setting my brand up. Uh, I got into getting a Patreon set up. So the link is in the uh, description of this week's Suds in the Squared Circle podcast will be going forward. Uh, you know, I'm and I'm just doing five dollars, five dollars a month if you're interested uh, on Patreon and also on Buy Me a Coffee if you're interested in doing a subscription based uh, Buy Me on Buy Me a Coffee. Again, five dollars a month if you want. Uh, I'm not. I don't know necessarily how much exclusive stuff that I could really do um, in terms of outside of the normal podcast. However. I am working on other stuff that's uh, going to happen. My goal, and here's the thing. My goal is to kind of follow the same model that ad-free shows did. Con um, Conrad Thompson is fantastic. He is uh, the pod father, so to speak. He kind of made wrestling podcasts and podcasts with, you know, retired wrestlers a thing. Um, starting with something to wrestle, moving on to what happened when, 83 weeks, so on and so forth. Um, I'm going to kind of follow that model. So for those of you who decide to sign up for the Patreon, uh, I'm going to upload our show notes uh, after every show is uploaded, which means that every, after Suds and Squared Circle, um, whether it's Suds News or Squared Circle News, I'm going to scan over and upload the show notes from that week. So you can kind of go through and see what goes through my mind or Christie's mind and all the stuff that goes into what we see and what we're noting down. Um, also, going forward, I'm in talks to get another podcast up and running. Uh, like I said, about my gym, uh, to promote it, I'm not sure if it's going to happen yet, so I'm in talks. Um, but the good thing is that this coming Saturday, Saturday morning, if you're in the Berlin, uh, Connecticut area, um, we're doing team competition. I am part of Team Wolfpack, Team Red. Obviously, the, the Red and Black Wolf Pack. Um, I'm going to be taking part of that after that's over. And once we go ahead and uh, things kind of cool down after that, because the owners are working on that, working hard at that. Uh, once that cools down a little bit, then we'll be able to go ahead and um, talk about possibly doing a, a podcast, a health and wellness podcast promoting the, the gym. So uh, just kind of stay tuned for that. Uh, a couple other shows that I'm thinking about doing. I did want to do a show based on Heels. Um, but not only was Heels canceled by Stars, but they also took it off Hulu. Like, like, like Stars took it off the streaming platform. So I don't know what that's all about because even stuff that's been canceled stays usually on the platform at least for another couple years or m months before they get rid of it. But no, Stars took it right off. So that's kind of out. I know that the producers of of Heels are kind of shopping it to other networks, other channels, other streaming platforms. So keep that, you know, keep that going. Because uh, season one was awesome. Season two was even better. Season two ended with Jack, um, Jack Spade breaking his neck after a shooting star press. So I hope, and I know Mike O'Malley, so... Here's the thing. Mike O'Malley is the showrunner. He's, he's basically the producer the, that's been doing a lot of the directing, producing for Heels. And I remember watching him on Guts on Nickelodeon. And then he moved on and, and, and he was actually in Glee, I believe. Um, but he plays, you know, um, Charlie Gully on Heels now and he's also done doing the producer. Um, he did say that there is a, you know, a hashtag save heels. Um, because after Stars canceled heels, they did go ahead and, you know, a lot of wrestling fans, a lot of heels fans did go ahead and um, put out the hashtag cancel stars. Well, you don't want to necessarily cancel because it's really not, it's a business decision, right? And you don't necessarily want to always go to cancel stars or um, what have you. But see, here's the thing is 
heels will live on. And, and we're going to go with, you know, hashtag safe heels. Um, but the other thing is, that show was absolutely fantastic, and I loved it. You could also actually go ahead, if you're into watching wrestling that's not WWE or AEW, you go to Netflix, and they have the show The Wrestler, uh, Wrestlers um, on Netflix, which actually is centered around OVW, Ohio Valley Wrestling, which is now owned by Al Snow, which that you know promotion in general has a lot of history, a rich history in professional wrestling. Started by Jim Cornette and Danny Davis back in the late 90s, uh, all the way till now. It, you know, Paul Heyman was the lead booker at a time. And then, you know, it was started as developmental for the WWE, became developmental for TNA for a while, and now it's Al Snow bought it, and it's his own promotion. It does have, I think, network television out in the uh, Louisville area. Um, so, what does that all mean? That means that wrestling is more popular than ever. And the fact that Heels was canceled, it'll be picked up by another uh, streaming platform. I guarantee it. Who knows when? But uh, they they apparently have all the scripts written for the third season uh, because they had to wait so long due to COVID and, and everything, getting everything up and running. And then the writer strike happened, and now SAG is, on, SAG is still on strike. Um, hopefully they get back to work and, and everything works out for them pretty soon. Yesterday, I do have to, kind of switching from the squared circle part to the suds part, um, I actually watched my first episode of Bold and the Beautiful yesterday. I don't know any of the characters yet. I don't even think they mentioned the names on some of the characters. So it's, for somebody who's just starting, you kind of have to learn by osmosis or let somebody, you know, kind of guide you as to who the characters are. I'm also going to wa start watching Young and the Restless as well. Uh, they are both on Paramount, on Paramount Plus. I did find that. And they are, you know, one of the uh, shows that kind of release same day. You don't have to wait till 8 o'clock like General Hospital does on Hulu. I sure hope the General Hospital goes to either, either uh, full streaming or at least released in the morning. Uh, so you don't have to wait till 8 o'clock at night for that day's episode to post. Uh, it depends on if, and I know that there's a lot going on, whether it's, whether Hulu is going to stay half owned by Disney or if it's going to go to all Fox. Um, cause I know that when ABC bought or Disney, I should say bought 21st century Fox, Fox network is separate. Fox network is owned by news Corp, which was Rupert, Mur which is Rupert Murdoch's company. So, Part of the deal was that half of Hulu was purchased with um, 21st Century Fox. Um, with that said, afterwards, they're, they're, the rights are up. The uh, ownership is up for grabs. I don't know if uh, Disney is going to maintain half of Hulu or if they're going to buy Hulu outright from Fox or if they're going to just sell their interest in Hulu to Fox and stick with Disney+. Plus, I think that might be the best thing, but again, who knows how that's going to go. Um, I'm just hopeful that General Hospital goes to streaming more, having more availability. You don't have to worry about preemptions with streaming. You don't have to worry about... Uh, you know, holidays not having a new show. You you don't have to worry about, you know, when our anything happens in the world and ABC News decides to do a cut in, even though they own CNN or they they partner with CNN. Um, you know, instead of having just the twenty four hour news channel cover the news, now they break into the main network feed, which kind of screws everything up. So hopefully, the streaming will go further. Hopefully ABC sees ABC sees what NBC did with Peacock and, and Beyond Salem and how Days is over there and Days Days has been exclusive to Peacock for over a year now, which that's that got me into it. Um you know, at Bold and Beautiful and Y R are, are both posted same day on Paramount Plus. So the streaming is working. And then you don't have to worry about commercials either. If you pay for the Premiere or the Plus, you know what I mean? Like I have Peacock 
Premier or Peacock Premium. That's what it is. So I don't have to worry about ads except for WWE Premium Live events because they're live and they have ads in them. But regardless. Um, but I want to thank you all for watching. Um, tomorrow morning I will be back with my live in the morning. I don't have any editing to do. But definitely go ahead, download or go to YouTube uh, for today's episode of Suds in the Squirt Circle, Suds News that was posted. And go ahead and um, become a patron. Patreon.com. It's not Patreon.com slash Suds in the Squirt Circle. I don't know. It's one of those Patreon.com slash user slash all types of numbers. The link is in the show description for this episode. Or uh, this episode of Suds in the Squirt Circle is released. So go over there. It, it, but it is BuyMeCoffee.com slash Suds and Squirt Circle. So go ahead. Help support the show. Uh, become a patron. Become a sponsor. Help us out. Uh, because I'm going as far as I can with this and, uh, onwards and upwards, but thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. I am Vinny from Suds in the Squirt Circle, and I will be back with you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.